Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, today I ran four miles, and I think that my body is just a little bit beat up. So, uh, man, I took a nap and I just did not wake up. So, uh, so but, well, I woke up now, so that's why I'm working on this farm. Just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I want to say, um, yeah, and this is the same as lead code. Hopefully, the analogy is not too uh, uh, unobvious, subtle. I don't know. Uh, what I mean is that, like, uh, you know, some days you feel like you can do anything, you can do it, everything, even. Uh, and some days you just feel like crap, and you just have to grind it out. Uh, and lead code is kind of the same. Uh, it is a little bit trickier because in running, there's no. I mean, you get injured for sure, but there's no like being wrong, right? You can't just be wrong at, at running in a sense, but you can easily grind for hours and nothing come out or nothing feels like it's coming out of working on the code or one problem or something like that, right? Um, but, you know, uh, I think, yeah. Um, but even going back just a second, I mean, t today is definitely still recovery day. I mean, there's a really good reason why I'm tired, right? Like I, I ran 50K. Uh, 50 kilometers uh, just two days ago. So my body is definitely, you know, so it's a way off, you know, like it's not like, a, oh, I don't know why I'm tired, right? Um, but I mean, one thing I want to point out for my 50K this time anyway, is that I really felt like crap three miles in or about, what is that, 5K in. So like 10% in, uh, technically I went 51 or 52K. I, 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 I did it in miles so i don't uh, maybe i gotta do the math but in any case like 10 percent in right um uh 10 uh, percent in and i was not feeling great i'm like why am i doing this how am i doing this this is not happening but you know what i'm just going to do as long as i can or maybe not as long as i can but as long as i reasonably can like i'm not gonna push myself to injury uh because that's just silly right um but uh, at least for something that doesn't matter, right? Um, but um, but just you know, keep going. And on a given day, who knows? My I had knee issues from uh, about mile three to thirteen. So that is what like five k to twenty k or something like that. Um, like I don't know, it was just sore, or not, not even sore. It was just like a little bit of pain. But then for some reason, after twenty kilometers, I was okay again after thirteen miles. So I or like. I was just like, remember feeling, huh, for some reason, maybe like my body adjusted and I, I ran in a slightly different way. Maybe I warmed up a little bit after 13 miles or something like that. But, you know, these are the things that sometimes happen. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, okay. hope that makes sense. Hope you can, uh, you know, use that analogy and kind of just grind it out a little bit. Um, it's okay to have bad days and it's okay to not, you, you know, to even not finish a farm, right? Um, just think about you know, how long the race is and how, you know, in the end, no one cares how fast you go, just how long you've gone, right? Uh, and that's it. Maybe not no one. I guess some people always do, but you know what I mean. Uh, it just depends on what your goals are. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 3201. We have find the maximum length of valid subsequence one. Huh? Are we going to solve two for tomorrow? Eh. I feel like... Eh. I mean, I think it's fine. It's just that it's a little bit of a spoiler because then, like, I don't, know. I don't know what the two is. I and mean, sometimes it's a little bit different, or so maybe it's fine. But I, uh, we'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at one first, right? Okay, we have a subsequence. It, it means that it, okay, a subsequent is called valid if subsume. That means that. Um. Okay, I mean, this is very confusing to read, right? That means that it's a subsequence where the adjacent values, my two are all the same, right? Um, and I don't know what that quite means, but one way that we can figure it out a little bit, uh, at least immediately I don't, but um, but we know that is my two. And what does my two mean, right? Well, my two means that there are only two possible answers. It's zero or one. What is this? What, what happens if... Uh, this is zero mod two. Well, if this is zero, that means that they have the same signs, right? Or not same signs, same parity, right? Meaning they're both odd or both even. And if that's the case, then that means that, well, in, in the case where this is both, maybe I could have written it out. 
Um, let me write it out a little bit, but I think it makes sense. I don't think it was it's too hard to follow yet, right? So basically, if um, I don't know, it if, if subsequence is um, zero mod two, that means that every uh, every number uh, every number in the subsequence has the same parity, right? That means that they're all odd or, or even, right? And that's another way of saying it. That's that's all that is. And then what if it's one odd two, uh, one mod two, right? Um, and, and I wrote this a little bit weird. It's not quite the notation. It's kind, kind of one under mod is is what the, a little bit more precise. But in any case, that means that one of them is odd and then the other is even. But then, you know, let's say this is even, right? Or the first number is odd, maybe you, either way. This is odd, this is even, that means that this is even, and this is odd, right? So that means that in this case, every uh, number in in the subsequence or sequence, um, what's it called, like jump around, or like has opposite, uh, every, eh, every adjacent numbers, every pair of adjacent, adj adjacent? can spell. Is that right? Eh, my head's not working. Alright, pretend that's adjacent. That looks wrong, but I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> my head is not working. It uh, has opposite parity, right? So basically like it bounces off from one, zero, uh, uh, odd, even, odd, even, dot, 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 or the other way around, right? There are only two possibilities. Okay. And then seeing all that, that means that we can, um, yeah, kind of play around with this idea. and. Here we were, uh, and then now I didn't even read what we're trying to do, so maybe I should have done that first, to be frank. But uh, but now that we understand what this means, kind of, uh, in terms of what a subsequence is going to quote routed, we can return the length of the longest routed subsequence. And in that case, we can figure out, there are a couple of ways you can think about this. I think there are two general, um, uh, there are two approaches that I have off my head, but I, one is DP related, maybe we'll get into that. But the most simple version is that, well, there are only two possible subsequence, right? So even if you don't know DP, maybe you can figure it out, and maybe you're going to end up writing some DP-like things, but still okay, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is that, okay, that, th th because there are only two subsequence, then we... You know, we can, you know, this is in English, we can understand it, right? So then uh, we maybe we can say something like for x in uh, nums, right? And then we have the longest is equal to zero, and then maybe the current is equal to, um, or maybe, well, I mean, you know, every number is something on the same parity. So that means that they're all the, either or even or, or odd, right? So even is equal to odd, so is equal to zero. So then if x mod 2 is equal to zero, and you can actually write this a little bit cleaner in uh, if you want, but I just want to write it in English, right? Uh, what I mean by that is that you can also write something like, I don't know, f is equal to 0 times 2 for x in nums, uh, f of x mod, mod 2, doo -doo -doo -doo. something like that, it's fine, of course, it's, it's the, you could say this is the frequency of the parity, and it is tighter, but I just want to write it in English, right? I mean, maybe it's a little bit, you know, because if you look at this, it's very clear what I'm trying to do here anyway. I mean, it's not that much more confusing than the other one, but I don't know, it's fine. Uh, it gets more uh, confusing, but uh, I, don't I, I don't think I worry about that much about. Okay, so then now that means that longest equal to max, technically longest, but I mean, that's an even, right? And then we're done with that, with this part. And then we just have to do the other part, right? Um, and then it is going to be, maybe we have to figure out how to structure it. And in a way, you could look at this as DP anyway. But here, the same thing is that, okay, um, let's just say... Uh, eh, uh, last even is equal to zero, last odd is equal to zero. So these are kind of, uh, you can think about these as last, uh, last, hmm, longest, or, uh, um, hmm, how do I want to write, uh, uh, sorry, I mean, I know what I want, but I'm just trying to phrase it correctly, uh, for y'all at home, just for me, I would have already been writing code, but, um, Basically, the subsequence where the last element is, well, odd or even, right? So here, if it's even, that means that we want to take, um, 
if this is even, then we want to say. I wonder if there's like a. Huh, loss of generality type thing, but maybe that's fine. Uh, and actually, there is like a trick here as well, I think, where you can just compress stuff and then you you get alternating. Because I think that's maybe another way of thinking about it. Um, if you want to think about this as a specific problem, because then now um, you have a sequence and then you just compress it, if you will. But in any case, you go, if this is even, then um, I say last, the best last even is going to be equal to the length of the last odd plus one. Um, I don't max that. And this this looks awkward because it is awkward. Um, but right uh, and then yeah but you, like I said you can there are a couple of ways to, to write that even right um, hopefully this is good but that's kind of idea like I said there are a lot of ways to think about this for sure um, I don't think the way that I did it is the only way but but I want people to kind of think about it and and even if you look at just this, you can say there are dynamic programming uh, elements uh, or even this here, right? In in concept, I mean, it looks because the, the reason why is because dynamic programming uh, is not uh, an implementation method. I mean, they, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that quite right. But what I mean is that if you think about it, if, if your algorithm is dynamic programming, there are ways, different ways to implement it. And this is one of the ways to think about it because you can write it out in a DP way and then you do some space compression and it will look kind of very similar. Um, conversely, if you just kind of did what we did here with no dynamic programming language, like we just kind of talk about it in English, right? We're like, okay, well, this has to, all the numbers have to have the same parity. Okay, maybe it's not that much English, but math and mathematical English of like, okay, well, if they have to be the same, then it has to be all even and odds, and then you can kind of work around it that way. And the code obviously just looks like this, um, very similar to a, a dynamic programming solution might look anyway. Um, though maybe in that case, you don't need to separate out these things, but uh, you would combine them, but uh, possibly. Uh, there are different ways to do it. But yeah, uh, that's why I have this one. Uh, that's why I kind of structure it this way. Though. Even, like I said, you can compress them as well, uh, which is another, maybe more analogous to what we did here. But yeah, uh, that is all I have for this one. I think th there is one more observation that you can make is that the longest chain always starts with the first element. Um, and why that is, is it's a proof by contradiction. The trial at home, I believe that's right in my head. Um, but I did it very fast, so I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Overall, that's it. That's all I have with this one. It's an interesting medium. A lot of different things. I mean, the code. If you look at it, um, it is very possible to look at the code and be like, "Oh, this is easy." You know, the code is like, you know, this is readable. This is readable. You know, um, but uh, everything that we talked about, there are a lot of different fundamentals that you can definitely work on, even if the code itself seems simple. You know, obviously, just even understanding this, I guess, is maybe the harder part, to be honest, the, uh, the, the subsequence expression or whatever that thing is. And yeah, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, and also, yeah, if you're curious why this is so slow. Oh, what did I do last year? Why is that so much slower? Uh, Hmm. I mean, I guess this is. Hmm. Don't know why that was so much slower. I mean, I guess this is. No, I. Yeah, I don't know. To be honest, that is now a little bit surprising. Uh, I mean, I use counter. I think counter just have all overhead. But in any case, yeah, uh, I didn't go over the time complexity. I mean, but hopefully, uh, I just forgot. I mean, but it should be straightforward to see and and think about. That's why I didn't even look at n because, um, I mean, we look at this. It. it yeah, it's linear time, constant space. I'm not going to look at n when it's linear time, constant space, which is way off in the lower bound unless you have something like with binary search or something with log n, right? But yeah, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. I'm tired. I'm going to go pass out or at least lie down. Uh, stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.